A Seymour couple who feared they would never have children now have a beautiful little boy. But during his short life, they've had to endure a nearly three month stay in the hospital. It was a stay cut short by a very personal gift from another couple. NBC 30's Brad Drazen from our Your Stories file. Mike and Jamie Rotatori's lives changed forever with the birth of their son Aaron 22 months ago. We went through four years of infertility to conceive him and a few losses and it, it was a long road to, to conceive Aaron. You could tell that he was a happy baby when he was born. And even after the surprise that was to come, he remained a happy baby. At just 19 days old, Aaron became very sick. Doctors determined he was born with a condition called cardiomyopathy, a weakened heart. The kidneys weren't working right, so he wasn't urinating properly, and his body was building up with fluid, and his heart was getting overloaded. Soon the family was told Aaron would need a heart transplant. He was quickly admitted at Boston Children's Hospital, where he would wait. Every day you were wondering if he was going to get a heart, and you were worried that he wouldn't get a heart. But after 73 long days, the waiting finally ended. It was actually 11.30 at night when we got the call, and I was up in Boston with Aaron, and Mike was home here. and. Um, I called him and he was like, are you kidding? I said, no, I'm not kidding. The next challenge was the four hour transplant surgery, which was a complete success. It was total elation and relief, actually. The family doesn't know much about Aaron's donor, except that the child was about 20 months old. But the experience has changed their entire outlook on organ donation. It's just in somebody in their time of sorrow and tragedy were able to give my son a second chance at life and now he's doing fantastic. There's no words to thank them. It really is a miracle and it's amazing that they were able to do that for us. And it's a gift they'd gladly give back. I would definitely be an organ donor now. <laughs> <laughs> I thank God every day for him and I just appreciate every moment that I can have and spend with him. Brad Drazen, NBC 30 News. Aaron will have to be on medication for the rest of his life. He may eventually need another transplant.